Hello everyone, welcome to Chara Spatial. Today I will show you how to create a normalized difference water index. So let's get started. So normalized difference water index. It is used to highlight open water features in the satellite image, allowing the water, to, uh, water body to stand out against the soil and vegetation. So let me show you the formula to calculate the normalized difference water index. So the formula is uh, the green band minus NIR divided by the green band plus NIR. For Landsat 8 image, so in this case we are going to use the Landsat 8 image. So the formula for Landsat 8 image is the band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5. So now let me show you the what is band 3 and band 5 in Landsat 8 image. So this is our Landsat 8 image. The band 3 is green. The wavelength is around 0.53 to 0.59 and band 5 is near infrared that is from 0.85 to 0.88. The resolution is around 30 meters. Now let me get back to the ArcGIS section. Go to the section called add, add data. So this is our extracted Landsat 8 image. So in this we are going to choose the land band 3 and band 5. So these are our required bands. We already have shown you here. Let me show you once again the formula. So for Landsat 8, we require the band 3 and band 5. So let me go back to the ArcGIS section. So let me add this. So this is our Landsat 8 satellite image. This is our band. Uh, let me expand this. This is band 3 and band 5. So again, go to the word section. So in uh, normalized different water index, it effectively measures the moisture content and it is often compared with the NDMI that is normalized difference moisture index. It is also known as normalized difference water index. And in fact, there is a major difference between the normalized difference water index and moisture index. Uh, the normalized different moisture index makes use of the makes use of this uh, NIR swap that is short wave infrared and uh, combination to enhance the presence of water in leaves of plants. But in uh, normalized difference water index, it is calculated using the green and NIR which allows us to detect the subtle, subtle changes in water content of the water bodies. So now let us go back to the RGA section. So go to the search section now enter as raster calculator now click search now choose the raster calculator spatial analyst So this is our raster calculator. We already know a recipe formula that is for to calculate normal and different water index, we require band 3 and band 5. So let me just show you the formula once again. For Landsat 8, band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5. So let me uh, enter our recipe formula. To calculate that, go to the section called math and uh, go click the float so now let me enter our recipe formula that is band 3 minus band 5 now divided by and again click the float so again click band 3 plus band 5 so now this is our formula to calculate the normalized difference water index so let me choose the output location. So this is normalized difference water index. So let me save. Now click OK. So this is our 
required normalized difference water index raster. So now let me go to the section called let me go to the raster section. First of all, let me turn off all the bands. So now go to this raster that is normalized difference water index and go to the section called properties. Now go to the symbology and click as a classified. Yes. So in this case, let me choose this. Uh, choose this classes as uh, for now. Now let me choose the color ramp. Now this is uh, I will choose the color ramp. Now apply and click OK. So this is our required raster. Now let me I will zoom in. You can uh, now clearly see that the water, the river course has been clearly the water body that has been clearly shown in this section. In fact, almost all the lakes and river traces and water traces has been identified using this normalized difference water index. So here, it is well, uh, well uh, shown here the river courses are so and now today's uh, its primary use today is to detect and monitor the slight changes in the water content of the water bodies and taking advantage of our uh, bands that is uh, the near infrared and the green bands and now the normalized difference water index is capable of uh, enhancing the water bodies in satellite image and downside of this index is uh, is that it is uh, sensitive to the build structures which can lead to the overestimation of water bodies so now let me go back to the word section let me show you how to interpret the uh, this values so now let me go so how to interpret our normalized difference water index the values of a water body is larger than 0.5 and now vegetation has a much smaller values uh, which is results uh, in distinguishing the vegetation from water bodies water bodies easily the built up features have a positive values between 0 to 2.5 so for the value for water bodies are larger than 0.85 so let me show you in that the value of uh, larger than 0.85 0 0.5 0 .5, it shows our shows that uh, it is indicates the water bodies. So values of water bodies are larger than 0 0.5. That is 0 0.5, and vegetation has a much smaller values, which results in distinguishing the vegetation from water bodies. The build-up features have a positive values from 0 to uh, 0 0.2. So we can see that certain uh, in this image the buildups are to also uh, estimated. So the values of uh, India, the normalized different water index values correspond to the following range. So 0 0.2 to 1 indicates the water surfaces and 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.02 0 0.2 indicates the flooding and humidity and minus 0. Uh, 3 to 0 0.2 indicates the moderate drought and non aqueous surface, and minus 1 to minus 0 0.3 indicates a drought and non aqueous surfaces. So, the NDY applications are uh, whenever there is a need to detect the water bodies, the sharpen its outline on the map and monitor the change in its clarity. In its clarity. The normal different water index is applied beyond the visible spectrum towards the infrared the water reflects almost no light so in uh, normalized different water index makes use of this property to uh, successfully outline the water bodies on um, on the map and monitor the water's turbidity so let me show you that so you can see that this technique has effectively marked all the water bodies in our study area more precisely i could say so almost all lakes 
water bodies are detected in this technique and also so uh, and also i have shown you how to interpret the these values from this section so here we have indicated shown you how to interpret this value the 0 0.0.2 to 1 indicates water surface 0 0.0 to 0 0.2 indicates flooding and humidity and minus 0 0.3 to 0 indicates the drought and uh, etc so thanks for watching our videos uh, please subscribe to our channel Terra Spatial and in the next video I will show you how to automate your workflow so thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel